about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know What up from Cusco, where I am leading the very first Be My Travel Muse adventure tours. So we're starting off in Cusco, which is the jumping off point for a lot of really cool stuff like Machu Picchu, the Inca Trail, Rainbow Mountain. And today we're going to a place called Salinas de Maras. It's um, some salt mines, but they look really cool, different colors like pinks and beiges. So we're going to head there first and then just kind of gear up, get used to this altitude before heading on to the Inca Trail. Uh, so our first real stop of the trip is a place called Chinchero in Peru. This is where they make some textiles in the ancient Inca fashion and they use the fur from alpacas and llamas. You can find stuff like that all over town, but here you can be sure that they've actually used the fur from these animals. So it's interesting because they've got a lot of other cultural things here like the guinea pigs. <laughs> it's like they knew I was coming. <laughs> Now we are at the Salinas de Mars. It's really pretty. I saw this on Instagram and I really wanted to come here and I'm pleased. Just not about the drone thing. Wow, this is so cool. Hola, buenos dias. So today it's day two. Dia numero dos of Be My Travel Muse Adventures. So we're gonna do a Via Ferrata up here to this mountain top. We're in the Sacred Valley today, which was sacred to the Incas. And so we're gonna do some climbing and then some zip lining, and it's gonna be fun. The whole trail is basically straight up, but we're in this beautiful valley and it's really fun to do this physical challenge and then we get to zip and then we get to zip lane down after so that seems pretty cool to me <laughs> hey now we've made our way into this cool dome thingy just a little pit stop on our way to our about 4 15 in the morning and we're just about ready to head out on the Inca Trail. Yeah, let's go. Where are we? <coughs> Where are we now? We're on Look the Inca Trail. Well, <laughs> we're about to be on the Inca Trail. What's the Peru? name of this place? <laughs> What's the name of this place? Oh, I don't know the name of this place. Um, this is the start of the Inca Trail, kilometer okay. 82. Kilometer 82. We yeah. arrived in kilometer 82. Mm -hmm. Pete's very excited. <laughs> very excited. <laughs> very excited about our manpower over there. I am too. Well, I'm excited about the breakfast. Yeah. yeah. Just packing up, getting ready to go. While gourmet breakfast is made over here. I see a coffee canister which makes me brings me immense joy <laughs> so yeah we're just packing Kristen up Kristen got yeah. me food yesterday and then didn't share it I thought about sharing it though and she thinks the thought the thought that it's counts it's the thought that counts really, it's the action that counts <laughs> that's weird yeah. yeah remember when I got you food and I delivered it yeah yeah I do yeah. I thought about that as I ate the pizza too <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> friends are for. That's what friends are for. Like at the airport. Yeah. I'm sorry. Remember that. Remember that. Here we go. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. This is nature, you know. It's no problem living with everything. This. This little beetle. Blood. No distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. Okay, this is already absolutely stunning. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. So we made it to our lunch stop, and little did I know they clap for you every time you come in, which maybe tomorrow will be a little bit more necessary. But quite the setup going here. I like your outfit, Pedro Lindo. Uh -huh. Gracias. Yes. <laughs> I gotta protect my sensitive neck. <laughs> All right, coming to the end of day one now, and um, it's been a really beautiful hike. I didn't really have any expectations, but the altitude is tough. <laughs> but today was a pretty flat, mostly flat day, so we've just got a little bit of uphill to go so that tomorrow is not quite as gnarly because we have two passes tomorrow. But thank goodness for porters. <laughs> We made it! Woo! Man, the air is thin up here. Mm. Right, view's a bit misted in here, but we are at 4,200 meters, which is 12,000 feet? Only 12,000 feet. <laughs> and this is the highest point of the Inca Trail, so it's literally all downhill from here. Well, kind of, we go uphill and then we go downhill. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's a lovely trail today. I heard that there were 140 microclimates in the world and 80 of them are in Peru or something like that. 84. <laughs> Fact check. <laughs> Good thing Pedro's here to help yeah, us out with that. <laughs> End of the circle. <laughs> Okay, back in the hotel in Cusco. Finally had a shower, which feels amazing. The room is already a complete mess, but what else is new? So anyway, we have a kind of a quick turnaround to hike Rainbow Mountain. Yeah, time to hit the sack. Wake up super early tomorrow. See you then. Good morning from Rainbow Mountain. I have come dressed for the occasion. <laughs> so we're at almost 5,000 meters here. I can barely breathe even talking to you right now. Um, so it's like maybe a three hour trek and I'm not even acting right now. <laughs> it's thin air. Okay, we're at the beginning, and this is the point at which you can decide if you want a horse or not. To be totally honest, I'm afraid of horses. <laughs> Me too. And it's so is Pete. So. Horses are big and scary. They're big and scary, and they have their own brain in there. They just do whatever they want. I just want to let like the horse that. do what the horse wants to do, you know? I don't really want to let the horse it do what it wants to do. Wants to sit around and eat. No, that's what I'm going to trust the old legs here. Now looking back, eyes on the freeway, Bonnie and Clyde, a classic <laughs> So I can see the end of the trail now, and I can, I think that I'm definitely a lot more than halfway. Maybe, 
Okay, maybe halfway, maybe a bit more. <laughs> the trail, at least so far, is mostly flat. It goes up when you get to the end, but it doesn't look steep by any means. But the thing is, um, the altitude, like I keep mentioning, because it's impossible to ignore. And also, it's very tempting when all these um, people go by offering you a horse. It's a very seductive option, but again, <laughs> I kind of fear horses, so I think I'm fine to keep going and finish it. Dippin' Dots, free Dippin' Dots! <laughs> oh. Hola, estoy cansado. En inglés, por favor. <laughs> Hello, I'm feeling great. <laughs> In never... honesty, please. <laughs> This shit is hard. <laughs> Made it! Woo! This is a wrap on our super cool group trip to the Inca Trail and to the Rainbow Mountain. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Share with your friends! With your friends. <laughs> and subscribe for new videos every Wednesday. Bye! Bye. <laughs>